Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with yours truly Lotus Hinder the Mad. Hi Lotus Plus is Armage just the Piffling Devil 22 boxes man good swag it is 13 and all right not today. Apparently my plan is not entirely as functional as I hoped. Is there a different way in? Uh, in case you're wondering in case there is actually a difference I am a bit ill at the time of this recording, so my voice may be just a bit different. But that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I don't think. Now I just need to find a way in. You'd think that the door would work, right? No! No! I need to find another entrance. Alright. Get the gun out just in case there's something waiting for me. Like money after working from nine to five. Alright. That's a song reference, right? Should be. Why was I unable to move in that direction? There should be an invisible wall there, right? Right. Um, would those rocks help? No, don't drink. Drinking does not sound like a good idea. To be frank, neither does swimming in it. But, you know. Do what you must because you can. Alright. This does not look like a vein. This on the other hand does not look like a vein. God damn it. Surely there must be something. Other than bits of water where I can't get it out of? What? Okay. Oh, oh, does this work? Yes. It took time, but we are inside a ship. Oh. Um. Lamp? Thank you. I should probably get out of the water because it's radioactive. Alternatively, I could use something that would reduce radioactivity. Ah. That's silly talk. Oh. In this direction. Find a door. Use the door, breathe. Oh, you hear that? I think we might have company around. Oh, 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 shite, 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 shite. Air, 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 oh. And not as many buckets of air around as one would like. Oh, that's the door to Red City, so. Here. Quick save. I don't think I've found anything yet use, so I might as well just. continue breathing. Nor I get the chance. Oh, there's a staircase there, I could use that. But on the other hand, there's a staircase here, I can use that. Alright, what's in the filing cabinet? Caps. Good. Oh. My lamp's off now. So turning it on again, can I eliminate stealth as an option? I can't exactly sneak with these guys there. Um, oh, pardon me while I take a better angle. There we go. You're a sturdy bastard, aren't you? Yes, you are. I'm um, sorry. I cannot fight over there. Um, pardon me. What are you doing, sir? That doesn't appear particularly effective, sir. Sir, 
Sir, I will insist that you desist your activities. Thank you. Okay. Save. Loot meat. Leave. Ooh, soft shell meat. Nice. Can't say I mind that. How's my radiation doing? Because I think we're my, uh, gathering up quite a bit of it. Get a red away, get a red X. There we go. Of course, now we're moving on to dry land. Not saying I just wasted a red X, but I may have just wasted a red X. But that's okay. But actually, let's turn off the lamp. So we can actually put the uh, stealth mechanics to use. Which may be a wise plan. If I may say so myself. Of course. Of course, yes. Yes. Now, what do we have? You are mine. It's a good thing I found all these uh, healing items. Yeah. Because those are gonna help here. Alright, uh, I have a crippled head. That's not very nice. Neither is the almost crippled leg. Wait, how many? 84 steam bags. That's plentiful. Huh. Oh, wait, that's the. That's the exit. So, I guess this means we are close to finding. What do we mean to find? Also, if I did this... I disable future threats of explosions out... Exactly. Yes, quite. Ah. So you must be... A trap. Ah. Thank you, thank you. I'll take the water. I'll take the mine too. Who would have stepped on the bloody thing? I need to be more careful. Is this the pressure plate that activated those weak shotguns? Because I thought that actually opening the door did that. I guess not. Why is the lamp on the ground? There's a lamp on the ground and I don't know why. Oh well. Um. Alrighty then. Use the lamp. Should make it easier for me to notice traps. You're not a trap, are you? You're a broom. What do you mean you're a mob? You're not a mob, you're a broom. You're not a brush either, you're a bloody broom. Why? Because I say so! God damn it, that voice hurts my throat. Ding it. And... That's okay. It was amusing enough. Huh. That makes it appear as if I just planned to go in that direction. Oh, but because this is an explosive terminal. Oh. I need to learn more about the boomy things. Alright. Ah, we have located. Hello? This fine gentleman. How the Hello. hell did you get in here? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Uh, then we about the CDC history. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. 
I hear you're the only one who knows the truth about Red City's founding. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. That is exactly my goal. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the mire lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. Oh. So how did you end up here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came Sorry. in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Uh... Okay. Huh. Uh, what do you know about Project Purity? Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee's been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. Apparently, though, my teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Treacherous bastards, all of them. Do you have any hard evidence of all this? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Good point. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Nice. Uh, what are you doing here in this fact part of the ship? I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. Not anything? Oh. Be that way. I have to go now. Don't let your guard down. Oh, you mean there are more traps? Oh, well, yes, there is. I just didn't explode it yet. Oh, this is fine for me to take? Thank you. That's mighty kind of you, sir. I kinda really like the price tag on that. Huh. Okay, so... Do you have anything interesting going on here? It's just... Or you just, you know... Do your usual thing, like... You know... Um... Necromancy-like stuff? By the looks of it. Make a dead man walk. That always sounds like a good idea. If you can accomplish it. No. You have a lot of stuff. Buy like cameras, conductors, motorcycle pieces. I I think he has enough to make a whole shish kebab. Hmm. That's pretty impressive. Now, uh, pardon me while I get behind you. Keep your hands to yourself. Uh, that was the plan. So, if I just walk behind you, then go hidden. You don't actually have a key. Never mind then. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Fallout Frame. Brian? Brian! Where are you, Brian? Would you like this large ham?